there's a zoo or perhaps a jungle on top of the coop over here. What's this one, Manny? An elephant. Elephant? Um, a hippo. I'm gonna go ahead and get breakfast started for tomorrow. We're gonna to make a French toast bake. This one's gonna be a little different. Do y'all remember when we used the croissants for French toast several weeks ago? That was the best French toast I've ever had. So we're gonna make a croissant French toast bake. So as y'all saw, no chicks still at Tractor Supply. They did have ducks. Some of y'all have asked why we don't just hatch our own chicks. And I don't know, most of our, well our only girls that are laying right now are the Isa Browns. Uh, well, besides Miss Turkey, when she decides to. <laughs> and with the Isa Browns, they're a hybrid chicken, so you're not gonna get an Isa Brown chick, like even if you bred a rooster, an Isa Brown rooster, with an Isa Brown hen, you're not gonna get an Isa Brown chick. And though they might still be good egg layers, I've read that they could have a lot of health problems. So, if you have Isa Brown hens that you have bred and hatched their eggs with whatever kind of rooster, let me know in the comments. Do they have a lot of health problems? That's the only reason I've not really wanted to do that because, you know, I don't want to hatch a lot of chicks and then them not live very long. So, so let us know about that. But yeah, we're going to keep looking and see if we can find some. I tried looking online about ordering some, but right now the availability is like psh, nothing for several months away. So, especially with the Isa Browns and Rhode Island Reds. Those are like the two that are definitely not available right now. So, I was going to make this... Was it this morning or yesterday morning? Sometimes the days blur together, but I was gonna make this sometime. <laughs> love you, Manny. He, he tells everybody, good night, love you, like three or four times per person. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna make this. It was either yesterday morning or this morning, but we ended up doing uh, sausage burritos again instead, and we didn't do the crescent, uh, croissants French toast stuff. So, we're gonna make it tonight. Also, when I made the breakfast burritos, Jonah was up in here with me, and he was helping me scramble the eggs, and he was like, why didn't you use the turkey eggs? And I was like, why didn't I use the turkey eggs? I completely forgot about them. So we're gonna use the turkey eggs. There were, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight eggs. Y'all know some of them were double yolks. So we're just gonna break these up and mix them all together. Okay, we're gonna put in one cup of milk, and Cece, you grab the half cup because we're gonna need half a cup of cream. And this is gonna be a cinnamon French toast bake, so get the cinnamon out. We're gonna put in a quarter cup of brown sugar. We need a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. And two tablespoons. Go ahead and get a teaspoon, Cece. We're gonna need a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's good, John. That was two, right? Yeah. All right, John, can you grab the croissants? They're over there on the table. I'm gonna let them start dipping the croissants in the egg mixture. I'm gonna get the nine by 13 pan ready. Y'all can start dropping them in there, okay? Okay. So we're just gonna dip them in the egg mixture. Make sure they get coated very good, okay? Okay. Like if the bottoms are dry, flip them over, and then you just take them out, let it drip, 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 and place them onto the pan. Here's your zone. You really wanna soak them so that they soak up the egg mixture really good. Now you could just put them in the pan and pour it over, but if you put them in the egg mixture and just roll them all around, then it just helps them to, you know, you make sure everybody gets the same amount. So now we're just gonna take the rest of the mixture and pour it all over the top. Okay, that's it. Now we're just gonna cover this and put it in the refrigerator and in the morning, this is just ready to go in the oven. I have some sausage thawing out in the refrigerator. I think I'll make some sausage patties to go with it, scrambled eggs, and fruit.
Good morning! Jacob starches his Wranglers and he took a pair of Manly's and did it the other day. They feel pretty stiff, huh? You want to change to some different ones? Yeah. Okay. We'll wash the starch out of them. They're gonna lay another baby ducky. Woo, they're getting excited. Yeah, no, whoa! <laughs> Let's go let the chickens out. We're bringing the last one in as a rotten egg sign. We're gonna go ahead and put Wait, it up. One, yeah, if I have something to hang it to. Okay, y'all, that croissant, French toast bake, amazing. I didn't know they left those animals still out here and I was like, what is that? It's, it's the zoo, it's the jungle zoo on the chicken coop, anyway. If y'all have not made French toast with croissants yet, please try it. I don't know if you'll ever go back to using any kind of other bread. It is so good. Even doing it like it doesn't get soggy because the croissant is such a sturdy bread anyway. It's wonderful. Do you see a turkey egg? I don't think Miss Turkey lays her eggs in the morning. I think she lays them in the afternoons. Cause I've been out in the mornings before to get the chicken's eggs and there was no turkey egg. But it, like if it was raining or something that day, I didn't let them out. And when I came back out to let them out later in the day, there would be a turkey egg. So I'm thinking she's an afternoon layer. You gonna move their little chicken decoration? Yeah. Where can we hang the sign? Let's see. Last one in is a rotten egg, Manny. Wait, I'm not going back yet. I was just reading the sign. <laughs> you want your jungle animals or are they just gonna hang out here? Um, hang out here. Hang out here, okay. Okay. We'll go put the eggs up and then we'll let the ducklings out to play for a little bit. So we've had ducks before. Several years ago, we got some ducks. And as y'all know, there are lots of wild ducks and geese that come around here, especially in the spring and the summer. And so when we've had ducks before, they wander off with the wild ducks. Like we had this mama duck one time that kept coming around with her little ducklings and she would come back here and be quacking like crazy like she was calling for our ducklings and they would try to follow her and eventually they did run off with some wild ducks. I'm not sure if it was that same mama but they did run off with some wild ducks. So hopefully with these ducklings, I'm thinking if we could hurry up and get some chicks, I'm thinking if we could raise them with the chicks, they might stay. I read that that worked for some people. So let's see if they'll come out. But yeah, I was hoping that uh, we could get the chicks at the same time and they would stay. Or if at least the ducks that come around here would be around and they would want to stay, they're going to run to the other side, aren't they, Manny? You got to be very easy. Look at those little duck feet. They want to see what they'll do if they put this duck. <laughs> they're like, what? Something's wrong with that dude. He don't look right. <laughs> 